Welcome to Getting Started with Orchid. In this video, we'll learn how to add publications and research outputs to your Orchid profile. Once you've got your basic information entered into Orchid, it's time to start adding your works. Your works are your research outputs, such as publications, datasets, and conference papers. You can add your works to Orchid profile in several ways, as a direct import from a database, using a BibTeX upload, or by adding them manually. The first method of adding works we're going to show you is importing from Scopus. It's usually a good idea to start with a bulk import from Scopus, as it has the easiest interface to use, and because your Scopus ID is created automatically, whereas you have to register for a Web of Science researcher ID. If you find there are works in Web of Science that are not in Scopus, you can add them later using a BibTeX upload. To import from Scopus, first make sure you are signed into your ORCID account. In another tab, sign into your Scopus account. On the Scopus search page, select the Authors button and type your first and last name into the provided fields. Then click Search. You will be taken to a results page. You can identify yourself by checking if your name matches your affiliation or by checking if the publications listed under that name are yours. If you find multiple records of your name, you can ask Scopus to merge those records. Otherwise, simply click on your name and you'll be taken to your author profile. Once in your profile, you will see a panel on the right hand side of the page called Profile Actions. Click on the Connect to Orchid link. All the profiles that match your name will be displayed. Choose your profile and click Start. If you have more than one profile, you can select multiple. By default, all publications shown are selected for importing. If any of the publications have been incorrectly attributed to you or you do not wish to import them, click the X to remove then click Next. You will then be asked to review your publications again and to confirm your selections. Click Next to continue. Enter your University of Sydney email address into the provided fields and then click Send Author ID. To send your publications to ORCID, click Send My Publication List this will finish the process and your publications will be sent to ORCID. Currently, the Scopus to ORCID import does not import DOIs into ORCID. If you are populating your ORCID profile for the purpose of uploading publications to RMS for grant applications, we recommend you use a BibTeX upload instead, as this will ensure the inclusion of DOIs. Not all of your works are likely to be indexed in Scopus, especially if you publish NTROs or in journals not included in Scopus. You may also wish to add new works that have been published but not yet indexed to your ORCID. In this case, you can add works manually. To add works manually, scroll down to the Works bar and select Add Works, then click on Add Manually. An Add Work dialog box will pop up. Make sure that you don't click outside this box before you've finished filling in the details, as your work will not be saved. Select your work type and fill in the required fields. Where possible, ORCID recommends completing as many work ID fields as possible. Work IDs include identifiers such as DOIs, ISBNs or PMIDs. Once you have filled in the fields, click Add to List your publication will be added to your works list. You are also able to add works to your ORCID profile using a BibTeX upload, an import from Crossref, and via DOI. You can access these options from the Add Works menu. For more information on using these options, contact your academic liaison librarian. So now your ORCID is populated with your publications list and is working as your online CV. For more information on how to make the most of your ORCID, see our other ORCID videos.